Hey, what's going on, fragrance family? This is Tyler Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you my full review over the new Zaharoff Z Creator 2.0 fragrance, Evening Mystique. So if you want to see what my thoughts on this fragrances are, be sure and keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. We're doing top 10 videos. We're doing fragrance reviews, interviews, weekly fragrance rotations, everything that encompasses fragrances you can find right here. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, be sure and hit that red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you have shown this channel over the years. Really does mean a lot. So guys, the time has finally come. It is here. I'm ready to give my full thoughts on the new Zaharoff Z Creators 2.0. And we're going to start with this bad boy right here. This is Evening Mystique. So I'm going to leave a you know little presentation up here for you to see. But guys, can we just look at this for a second? Like this is... This is a work of art, Let, let's be honest. This is an actual work of art. So let's go ahead and get into the box presentation right now. So let's go ahead and get into the box presentation. So, all right, so as you can see, I'm gonna have it right up here, but I'm also gonna have a little side video up there for you guys to look at, but what a work of art this is. This is absolutely insane. So this might look like, you know, the, um, the normal plaques and stuff that go onto the Zaharoff boxes, but this is actually um, embroidered uh, metal plate on here, and it is absolutely stunning. So as you can see from here, you have the Zaharoff line, you have the sun up there with the Zaharoff logo, the Zaharoff Theater presents Evening Mystique Business Over Pleasure Act 2. So what a awesome presentation this is. You have a little muse on the side here, TLT uh, reviews, and you have 120 ml or 4.0. Uh, fluid, uh, excuse me, four point fluid ounces. And then on the sides here, you have this beautiful velvet coating on here. And this is real velvet, by the way. Like this isn't like, you know, some, you know, run of the mill fake velvet. This is real velvet. And then up top, you have the Zaharoff Z up there. Absolutely phenomenal. Cannot get over this presentation. And then on the back, you do have more information about the fragrance and the house and the two muses on the side here. And then Zaharoff.com uh, where you can go and purchase these at. And then you open it up and it's a nice little like almost like pressurized seal on there. It almost feels like when you uh, open it up, you might hear that uh, bottle pop sound, right? But the fragrance does sit inside very snug. Awesome, awesome presentation. This, in my opinion, this is my favorite presentation out of the three so far. Just, you know, um, a little bit of a, you know, disclaimer there. Just so creative. Absolutely phenomenal presentation um, on the new Evening Mystique. So that is the box presentation. Let's go ahead and get into the bottle presentation. Again, I'm going to have the little picture up there, the video up there for you to see. But this is the bottle presentation as you can see up here as well crazy awesome detail guys these again these are the new metal plates that are on the new uh Mr. Harf bottles absolutely stunning guys the the raised stars you can feel it on the on the metal here evening mystique right here the sun with the zaharoff z on here ross he you know he had to bend these you know to fit so every single bottle he has touched so just an awesome awesome presentation then you do have the new kind of maroon if you will maybe a little bit darker than maroon magenta or you know somewhere in that uh, colored cap just an awesome awesome bottle presentation absolutely love this stuff so this is the bottle presentation of the new Evening Mystique. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the moment you've waited for, the actual review over the notes and, you know, what I think of the fragrance. So I'm going to read these off of the card. And by the way, with the pre-sales, you always do get a handwritten uh, note. I believe mine was from Ross, so thank you so much for that, brother. Um, but they do come with the notes listed. I'm going to leave the notes listed up there for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. So in the top notes, you're going to get excuse me, you're going to get um, Angelica, you're going to get Angelica Root, you're going to get Coriander and Carrot Seed, and then the mid or the base notes or the heart notes, you get Cypress, Incense, Juniper Berries, Florentine Iris, and Rose Super Essence. And then in the base notes or the dry down, you're going to get Olibanum Resin, you're going to get Cedar, you're going to get Myrrh, Vetiver, Patchouli, Musk, and then Ornax. So those are the notes in the fragrance. 
and uh, these are a parfum to extract concentration this is a 25 percent parfum extract so you're going to be lasting a good while but we'll get into that here in a second so what i'm going to do i'm going to give a little spritz here and one, atomizer is absolutely incredible, but two, just to familiarize myself with this fragrance, not that I really need it because I have wore this fragrance so many times. It's actually ridiculous. I absolutely adore this fragrance. So what do we get off of this fragrance, guys? So in the opening here, I'm gonna go back to the notes here. So in the opening, you get a lot of the original essence of business over pleasure, at least to my nose. I have heard some people say that they really don't get that, that this is a completely you know, different scent than, you know, business over pleasure, but I do get some of, you know, that original DNA, but it's a bit darker. It's got this, you know, resin behind it. It's got this, you know, incense dark, almost kind of, almost kind of stank to it. And it's absolutely phenomenal. So very much of a darker take on the business over pleasure DNA, but you do have that carrot seed in here and it just gives it this, it, it ties in that iris so, so well. It, it's, it's like an accompanying note to the iris to really tie everything in. And it just does an amazing, amazing job. So for the first, I'd say 10 to 20 minutes, you're really gonna get, a lot of that business over pleasure DNA with, you know, those darker resins, those incensey notes, those, you know, almost if, you know, if you were to tell me that there was oud in this fragrance, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, call you crazy. It does have a bit of that kind of stanky, um, you know, darker animalic tone to it, but there is no oud in here, but it does almost kind of give that presence off for it. But I do believe that a lot of that comes from just the iris and, you know, the myrrh and stuff, those working their way up in here but in i would say 20 to 25 minutes you're gonna get this at least off of my skin that can only speak for myself but i actually messaged ross about this because i wanted to know at about 25 minutes 20 25 30 somewhere in there i got this musk that was just so prevalent off of my skin i was sitting in my car i was driving to go meet with some buddies and i was like man something in here is reminding me of Zaharoff Royale X. I know that might sound crazy, but I actually messaged Ross. I was like, hey man, is the same musk that is in Royale X in here? And he said, you know, knowing Claude, there's a good chance of that just because, you know, they did perfume both fragrances. And so I get this really musky, stanky, just similarity to the Royal X. Now it doesn't going to smell 100% by any means. There's just something in the background. I'm just like, you know, that reminds me of this. So you get this fresh kind of citrusy, irisy opening with a bit of a darker resinous opening. And then, you know, 25, 30 minutes in there, you're going to get this, you know, kind of stanky, musky, um, you know, just resin note in there. And then in the dry down, and I'm talking like the far dry down because that musk and the iris and, you know, the earthy tones that you get really do last throughout most of the life of the fragrance. But I was actually on the phone with Ross about this. Whenever I woke up the next morning, I could smell it on my clothes and I smelled it on my hand and it got creamy. Like there was just this creamy, sweet, smooth dry down to it. And it was absolutely phenomenal. Loved it absolutely love this fragrance guys this is a stellar stellar fragrance now um you know ross has said this multiple times and every person that i've talked to about these fragrances have said the same thing not saying that business over pleasure and the first zed creators were bad they were great fragrances but everything has been elevated with these from presentation to the note breakdown to the smell to the projection everything has been elevated it's been lifted it is an absolute stellar fragrance it is a stunner of a fragrance guys now times and occasions to wear this I really think this could be an everyday scent don't don't get me wrong on that but I think this begs to be worn as a night scent it just it has this darker mentality behind it it makes you think of a night out in the town or going to a date night or you know just kind of being out on the town evening mystique it's literally in the name evening mystique so i think of a night out on the town with your friends maybe you're going to a bar maybe you're going to you know a pool lounge maybe whatever date night whatever the case may be this deserves to be in a nice you know buttoned up shirt or polo collared t-shirt something like that where you're dressed up for the occasion now you can wear this you know just casually obviously you know i've wore it to work and 
it did wonders um but i just think that it's a bit more of a dressed up not necessarily suit and tie but just more of a dressed up occasion i think that this is really going to knock some people's socks off this is awesome stuff and so uh, that would be the occasions and then seasons i really do think it could be worn all year round i think that here in the south where i'm at it might get a bit too thick uh, you know for the humidity that we get but i think on maybe a summer night you know something like that going to you know an air controlled environment especially you could definitely rock this all year round but i do think that this is going to shine more in the fall winter and the spring months i absolutely cannot wait to see what this does in the spring. I think this is gonna be stellar. Now, excuse me, with this fragrance, guys, I'm not saying that we wear fragrances for compliments, right? We're not we're not just hopefully not at least, but you know, we should be wearing fragrances for ourselves and what we like. But I can say the first night I wore this fragrance, I got four unsolicited compliments, guys. It was absolutely insane. And then my buddies told me that I smelled good. So when I went to the coffee shop, we had a little Bible study. Um, you know, they were saying, Man, you smell really fresh. Like, what is that? It's you know, it's they said it's strong, but it's not too much. And so I knew exactly what they meant. The sillage that I was leaving behind me was absolutely crazy. I had a nice little scent bubble around me, but it wasn't just filling a room. It wasn't, you know, pulsating off of my skin and I wasn't being that loud, obnoxious guy. But when I walked by people, the scent trail was absolutely intoxicating. So the longevity and projection off of this, guys, this is not going to be, you know, something where it's just a room filler screaming off your skin. But it is going to be pretty strong for the first hour to hour and a half. And then after that, it dusts a bit closer to the skin. I'd say maybe you're pushing off a good three and a half to five inches, somewhere in there. You have a nice little scent trail around you, a nice little scent bubble. But then around that five and a half to six hour, it really does kind of sit in closer to the skin. And since it is such a high oil concentration, it's going to last and last and last on your skin. Like I said, when I woke up the next morning, I could smell on my clothes. I could smell on my hand where I you know, did the initial test spray it is an absolute dream guys um in fact um you know i was telling ross this as well um i've had to kind of readjust my you know spraying routine since the hair i used to spray the back of my neck but now i spray it in my hair so that way whenever i walk you know that nice little scent trails behind me whenever i uh, took a shower the next morning the oils in there from the hot water heated up and it was like i just resprayed it like i'm telling you guys it's a long lasting fragrance not necessarily in the sense it's going to be pushing off your skin but it is going to hang around so overall assessment from this fragrance guys it is an absolute banger of a fragrance absolutely love this fragrance do i like it better than business over pleasure honestly yes i do and that's not saying that business over pleasure was a bad fragrance i just think that this one is elevated just as ross has put it several times you definitely are getting what you pay for with this guys 160 bucks for four ounces of this i did purchase backups just because i knew that with the success of the first ed creators you know i'm kicking myself in the pants for not getting you know backup bottles of uh business over pleasure or brass and soul i do have a backup of siren but i wasn't going to make that mistake this time so i do have you know uh, a backup bottle so that way i can spray this one pretty liberally without having to worry too much and then kind of baby my other bottle but definitely recommend getting your notes on this guys absolutely worth every penny in my opinion all right guys so that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate that be sure and comment down below guys what do you think of this fragrance is it something that you know sounds appealing to you have you you know purchased it do, do you have it what's your experience with this fragrance are you going to order it i definitely think you should these are limited runs once they're gone they are gone and no more being created so definitely would recommend getting at least a sample of it or you know trying somehow to get your nose on it so in my opinion, guys, definitely think that it is worth every single penny. Just the presentation, everything that you are getting, it is superb. So comment down below, guys, what you think of this fragrance. If you have it, what's your experience with it? Um, be sure and comment down below. I'm going to catch you in the comment section. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And remember, if you love it, wear it.